Hi, it's Amy here with another tech tip. Today, I want to show you how to scan on your Mac. This is a question we get a lot, and I'm going to simplify that for you and show you the basics of it right now. First, I want to walk over to my scanner and set the paper that I want to scan in there and make sure that the face is down and you have that little indicator in the corner showing you uh, where the top is. Now I'm going to my applications folder and then image capture. If you have a scanner that came with its own software, HP scan, MP navigator, any of that scanning software, forget it. Just go into your Mac. It already comes with an app called image capture. And we're going to open that now. And I'm just going to make my window a little bigger. And on the left hand side, you should see the name of your printer scanner. If you don't see it, there's a little triangle right here um, where it says shared. This is if it's wireless. If it's plugged in, it'll show up right at the top. Um, if it's wireless, I'm going to click here and select my scanner. And by opening this up, it initiates the scan. So I'm going to see an overview pop up here. And now we just need to select where we want the scan to be saved um, and the kind of scan. So first off, we're looking at the kind. You can do text, which gives you um, a smaller file size and is good for just regular documents. Um, black and white gives you more gray tones in there. And then if it's a photograph, you want to choose color. And this document is a good example of all three. I could, if I want to preserve that color, I can scan it in with that, or I can just do a black and white or just a text document. And then we don't have to worry about the quality of the image. It just looks kind of like a photocopy. So the next thing we want to do is choose the resolution and most high resolution documents, you'll want to choose 300. Depending on what scanner you have, you'll get a variety of options of different resolutions. So 300 is standard. Um, you can go higher if it's something like a photo that you would like to blow up and have uh, a good resolution at a higher, a bigger size. So I'm going to choose 300 for this document and then we can choose a custom size or in this case I'm going to uncheck custom size and just choose a letter size. So it kind of automatically just makes it a letter size. I would choose custom size if, for example, I wanted to select an area and maybe I only want to scan this section right here, then I can choose custom size and, and draw the box around the area that I would like to scan. Or I choose uncheck custom size and choose the letter size and you can see the box of the scan area that's selected here. Next we want to choose the folder that we're scanning to. So I'm just going to scan to desktop and then we get to put a name on this. So this is going to help you find it later so it's not just a generic name. And then the format, if it's a document, you'll want to choose PDF. If you are, if you are scanning a, a photograph, you'll probably choose JPEG. That's going to be the simplest way to do this. Um, so in general, this is the, these are the best settings to use for your scans. Now that we have a location and a name and the format, I can click scan and that is going to scan the file. Okay, when you're done, you'll see your scan results and you can click the little magnifying glass to take you directly to the file in your finder. Or in this case, I know I chose desktop. I can look on my desktop and find it right here. If you have any more questions about scanning or would like to set up an appointment, go to mymacmentor.com and we'll see you next time.